like doing those response videos I don't really want to do. It's a response to this Xena Jones, warrior princess of the... Not really a jungle. Um, anyway, <laughs> yeah, I did notice that Karina had favored it and thumbie up this video. And, um, yeah, I, I mean, I, I don't know how to even, you, you know, this, every, everybody is just so sensitive on these subjects that it's just so impossible to have a rational conversation. But, I mean, just because of that, you can't let this way over-the-top excessive rhetoric to just be spoken and nobody says anything nobody challenges any of this I mean but yeah yeah so so as a premise um, whatever you want to call me gay it's okay I've had yeah I've had sort of like gayish fantasies had a few kind of gayish dreams and shit so you can call me gay then and fine so I'm just a gay bashing on gays then well that's not gonna work yet either because I'm a hell self-hating gay then <laughs> then I'm a homosexual in denial or some other kind of crap so yes yeah, psychoanalyzing people sucks. Um, so I'm not defending that. I'm not defending anybody having any kind of bigoted prejudice against your sexual preference. None of that. Who cares? Um, but yeah, this this argument that somehow, you know, this is just, this is the argument from like, no, it's not abnormal, even though it's abnormal. I'll completely deny the existence of the word normal. There's no such thing as normal. There's no such thing as anything. I mean, it just, it just breaks logic, and that's what I can't stand about it. I guess that's it. I just can't stand the fact that it just breaks fucking logic. The first person I ever came out to asked me if I had been raped as a child. Like, that was just the most natural question to ask. I quickly learned that when you're not straight, you simply can't let people find out if you've ever had any difficulties growing up, because you know what they'll do with that? They'll pick through everything until they find something anything at all, to confirm in their minds that we're only gay because of what happened to us. And yeah, well, there's a certain logic to that, okay? I mean, if you show up and, like, half your face is missing, right? Somebody's going to ask you, well, what the hell happened to you that's different than what happened to everybody else? Um, any change or, or, or migration from a normal standard, anything unusual, even if the car came out of an auto plant with five wheels on it, Somebody's going to ask the question, how the hell did they get five wheels on it? I mean, they're going to ask the friggin' question. And I'm not saying they should be insensitive to you, and I'm not saying you have any obligation to answer any kind of stupid questions about it. You could, but, but, you know, the truth is, is everybody, just about everybody, has had a, something weird happen in their life. But it is stupid to say that we can't look at a, a Bundy or a Dahmer, and I'm not being negative for the sake of being negative. I'll go with the other extreme, an Einstein or, or um, a Gandhi. I mean, anything that's out of the normal, and ask the question, how, what made them different? What was the thing that happened to them that made the difference? Because there's going to be something that happened to them that made the difference, okay? And it either happened genetically or it happened in their through their uh, maturation and conditioning or it happened through their education but there has to be an explanation you can't just sit there and say no we don't have to explain well then that's just kind of bullshit questions aren't really an evil thing to ask and what happened to us it's not even that important if you were shy if you weren't athletic if you had trouble making friends if you didn't get along with a step parent if you were abused practically anything is fair game and they'll insist that must be why you're gay. And well, look, you're not gay because gay makes any sense evolutionarily, right? Okay, I mean, theoretically, what sense would there be to it? You can't come up with one positive evolutionary impact of gayness. All, the, only, the only way you can even explain gayness is that you could say that the sexual aggressiveness, you know, being highly aggressive sexually would be advantageous to a species or male, certain males. And so, yeah, so if they're really got a strong sex drive where, yeah, well, anything that's sort of human and they'll give it a shot, um, yeah, you know, and if they got the sperm to spare and you're only making one baby at a time anyway and they're, you know, the woman's doing all the incubating and it's all on her, she has all the downside risk, um, yeah, so there can be reason for, for men to be gay, certainly. Um, 
you know, reason for them to be sex so sexually aggressive that, um, you know, they, they would be um, multi-sexual. <laughs> you have to use a different kind of term. Um, but let's, let's not pretend there's any rational reason to think it would be evolutionarily sensible to create males that have sex with males. I mean, it just doesn't make a lot of sense. And if there's nothing they can dig up, well, maybe you just don't remember. Where does this come from? What drives this fixation on gay sexuality as something rooted in trauma? Do we... Oh, whatever. I got, you know, I'm sorry. Okay, maybe this is what you get from, from the bigots and the other people and the rest of this stuff. But, I mean, really, can you get, maybe you should describe these people who ask all these questions and do all this inquiring, you know. Um, but, really, is somebody... I mean, somebody should not be at all curious, then fine. I think, you know, I don't get offended. If somebody asks me, you know, well, what happened to you? Why did you become, where did you get your anxiety disorder? How that happened? I mean, I don't really feel that bad about saying, well, yeah, you know, I don't know. There's a few events in my life a little fucked up. Maybe that did it. Who knows? What's the big deal? I mean, I'm not going to sit there and make a, 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 a description of, of my... Um, circumstances as being something that just happened because that's what it hap just happens. I mean, that's just bullshit to say, well, it just happens. Uh, there should be inquiry. See anyone doing this to straight people? Do we assume they're only straight because their parents didn't love them enough? Or they oh, well, you know, that's just so bogus. Again, why would somebody question the norm? If the car comes out of the plant with four wheels and the motor's in the right place and the steering wheel's in the right place, no one's going to do any inquiry. All right, but if it's fucking dogs, they're going to ask some questions. All right, if it's eating people, they're going to ask some questions. Um, if it's, you know, masturbating to Teletubbies, they're going to ask some questions. I mean, come on. It's, it's not that obscene to ask these questions. They had bad experiences with men, or perhaps somebody raped them? No. Nobody even goes looking for that kind of thing. And if they do find something like that, they certainly don't say, Aha, that must be why you're straight. But oh, well, look, I mean, you, you can take any example. I mean, if I had a dog and my dog humped male dogs, I'd wonder what the fuck happened to him. I mean, that's a little fucked up. I mean, you're, you're, and you're just not going to concede that? You're just going to pretend? No, I'm, I'm just perfectly normal. This is exactly what hum homo sapiens should be. I mean, come on. This is silly. But when you're gay, they'll pathologize you first, and then look for reasons to justify it. <laughs> well, whatever. Like I said, everybody gets pathologized. I mean, anybody. Especially people are going to be a little bit bold and aggressive and in other people's face about shit. Um, they're going to get pathologized. Yeah, that's what happens in reality. You're out, you don't, you know, you don't, it's like the IBM commercials and shit. You know what I mean? You don't do as the Borg says. You're going to get pathologized. I get pathologized because I have fucking long hair. So come on, get a grip. Conclusion has been settled on ahead of time, and now they just have to hunt for evidence in favor of it. And when that's your approach, of course you'll find confirmation of it sooner or later. What's wrong with this picture? Why is it that straight people are taken at their word with no... <laughs> well, I mean, they're not even taken at their world, at word. And there's lots of straight people with deviance, okay? I mean, they want to... Some men can't get off unless they're beating the woman up. You got men who have to, like, strangle themselves with shower curtains and shit to get off. You, you got uh, men molesting kids. You got all kinds of sexual deviancy. And there's nothing wrong with asking questions, especially in those cases. All right, but that's going to bleed over to innocent cases too, the harmless cases. It's just natural to inquire. Why does the fucking car got five wheels? No need for half-assed psychoanalysis, but gay people are assumed to be damaged in some way. Just think. Well, I'm sorry. No, they're they're presumed to be abnormal. Is it just? Is it so terrible? I am abnormal. I can admit it. All right, the normal human being doesn't look like me, doesn't talk like me, doesn't think like me. All right, so I am abnormal. I have done things that maybe nobody else has ever done in the history of human beings. Okay, really, maybe I have. I've walked on fucking logs naked. There's not too many people who have done that. So there, I win. I win an abnormal award. 
Get over it. Being abnormal is not a bad thing. Asking questions is not a bad thing. All right, but pretending that everybody who asks a question or anybody who thinks you're not just completely, yes, everything is completely understandable and we got it. It's all figured out. No, it isn't. Of everything this implies about us. It delegitimizes our orientation by treating it as some kind of harm that's been inflicted upon us. It's well, if that's the truth, doesn't that mean something? I mean, realistically, we know there is this phenomenon, okay, that, 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 that kids who are beaten grow up, they tend to, okay, in a greater percentage, end up being beaters, okay? That we inherit this shit, okay, through conditioning. And it's sort of important, and maybe we should correct some of it. But I know I'm not making that argument. I'm just making the argument that it's fair to ask questions. Fucking goddamn. All right, finishing up. Suggest that our feelings are a dysfunction, one that could conceivably be addressed with psychiatric care in the hopes of restoring us to heterosexuality. It depicts. Yeah. Well, whatever. Um. You know, there's sometimes there's some pieces of your uniqueness that you might want to get rid of. People want to change who they are all over the place. And so some people might, yeah, maybe that would be good because it's inconvenient to be different. And that's true. I mean, you can't deny that it's a little bit inconvenient to be a minority. Um, and if you could be a not a minority, some people might say, yeah, I'd rather not be a minority. I might not, I'd rather not be blighted by this difference. Um, but yeah, that should be their choice. And uh, yeah, so, you know, yeah, no, no unusual, no, no negative treatment. Um, no, no bigotry required here, but these are fair questions to ask. Why is a fair question? It makes us pitiable, and in doing so, it paints our relationships as a manifestation of illness. It gives straight people the benefit of the doubt, as if their orientation simply is, yet we require an explanation for ourselves. Well, I'm sorry. I mean, I mean how can you be an atheist? So apparently you don't believe in evolution then, right? You believe that some whatever, the fairy gay god, um, you know, just said, no, we got to have some gay people on Earth because it's too depressing there and there's not enough color. You know, it's way too, you know, people are way too drab. So we need some gayness, you know, to perk everybody up, you know, invent silly things like culottes or some other kind of bullshit. And, uh, yeah, so, you know, we need some gays to do that, so we'll just poof them, poof, onto the planet Earth. I mean, this is just such bullshit. I mean, if you believe in evolution, you've got to concede that men sticking their penises in the anuses of other men doesn't make a fucking hell of a lot of sense. All of this with no good cause, drawn from nothing more than idle conjecture, anecdotes, and outdated pseudoscience. Why do they... Oh, or the fact that, yes, well, they be different. I mean, come on, we're all vulnerable to that. All right. I mean, you you don't see nothing walking down the street and makes you say, "What the fuck is going on there?" That never happens to you, right? I mean, everybody, everything can be as just bizarre and as weird and as fucked up as it wants to be, and it's, you understand, okay? So if some guy is, you know, wants to marry a squirrel, it's okay with you. It makes perfectly good sense to you. Think that something had to make us gay as if we weren't before. Why is it that being straight is just how they are, but... Uh, evolution. I mean, really, come on. Why does men have sex with women's? That doesn't make no sense. Sperm mixing with eggs? No, that doesn't make any evolutionary sense. Come on, this is fucking retarded. And you wrote this? You actually wrote that sentence down on a piece of paper and then read it to me? Come on. Being gay couldn't possibly be. Do they like to think of themselves as more authentic than us? None of this is supported by fact. <laughs> yeah, none of what? That sperm and eggs kind of go together? Like they have sort of a design purpose? And that uh, feces and sperm, well, that doesn't really do much, does it? <laughs> I mean, I don't want to get fucking gross, but come on, this is stupid.
gay people weren't abused as children, and most people who were abused as children aren't gay. If you're trying All to with this cons, mosty posty this... stuff doesn't go very far, okay? But we there's statistical correlations, okay? And it's a higher percentage, and we can see it in studies of other animals, especially other mammals and especially other primates, all right, that their behavior is highly influenced by this kind of stuff. You raise a monkey with a cold carpet as its mother, and guess what? It turns into a fucking lunatic, all right, a, a homosexual lunatic. Isn't it? Our relationships are no less real than those of straight people. Our love... Uh, well, no one's arguing that you don't have that love in your heart and that, that you don't have passion and emotions and all of that crap um, Yeah, if there's a bigot trying to take that away from you then I'll bash that bigot just as hard as anybody else but don't try to tell me this is the way the the, the world works because it isn't this is the way it works when human beings create wacky societies and, 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 and a completely um, dysfunctional culture. It's not something that can be dismissed as a consequence of trauma. We're not some kind of failed heterosexuals. We're not a developmental... Well, well I'm sorry. It, is, it sort of is fail as heterosexuality. Yes, it is, it is fail as sexuality. Okay, in evolutionary terms, it's going to fail. All right, I'm, I'm sorry. Yes, it's going to fail. All right? Uh, uh, and no organism is going to survive by having sexual reproduction that is male on male and female on female. That just isn't going to succeed. Amelie, we're as genuine as anyone else. I'm not a symptom to be investigated. The only disorder here is ignorance. Ah, oh, so it's not a disorder. It's not the same as the four-wheel cars. No, it's not unusual. You're not an aberrant. This is just typical male. Oh, come on, please. Please. No, that's all. The first person... Yeah, blah, 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 blah. Um, so anyway, yeah, so whatever, whatever, throw your, your crap, okay, because everybody doesn't just allow you to say any kind of crap you want to say, um, they're a bigot and they want to somehow hurt homosexuals and they're being insensitive and cruel, fuck you, it's all nonsense and bullshit, I'm just saying, be proud of who you are, be comfortable with who you are, love who you are, think even have, even think you're superior, which I think you do. I think you have a superiority complex. I do, I do. Um, that's not related to your gayness at all. Um, but anyway, um, you know, do all that crap. Yes, celebrate you, okay? But don't sit there and try to sell this idea that this is normal, or that this is how the the evolution works, or this is not something created by a, uh, the system failing to function as it uh, dis as it was designed to function. I mean, let's not have that pretense. There is a dysfunction, all right, when penises are not finding their way to vagina then there's a dysfunction. We can call it that much.